Hello learners, I welcome you all in yet another video lesson of DLET program of National Institute of Open Schooling on course code 504, unit 1 on how children learn mathematics. The topic for today's lesson is Mathematic Phobia, Making Mathematics Learning Pleasurable. But before moving on the topic, let me share with you the proposed flow of the lesson. First of all, I will discuss with you the lesson guide, then I will share the expectations in terms of learning objective, then I will discuss the phobia for mathematics, what it is actually, and after that, I will discuss the factor causing phobia for mathematics. After discussing the factor causing phobia for mathematics, we will move on learning of mathematics for making it fun. Then we will discuss about the things which is essentially to be kept in mind while learning of mathematics. At the end, we will recapitulate and there is a take home task for you. Let me share with you the lesson guide. During my presentation, I will explain and exemplify the different concepts. You should follow my voice and the slides as well. You will find important words and sentences etc. have been highlighted to facilitate retention. I have also summarized the main points at the end to have a quick glance for better retention. There are some questions and exercises in between and at the end of my presentation, you are advised to attempt these questions and exercises after going through the video lesson. Now learners, here are the learning objectives. After going through this video lesson, you will be able to understand the factors causing fear for mathematics and mathematics phobia and you would be able to devise the ways and mechanisms for making mathematics learning pleasurable. Before moving on the topic, let me share with you some, some of the statements which are there on the slide which I have heard about an area of study in school education. Some of the children says, even the idea of its study haunts me. I hate it a subject as a subject of study. It goes above my head. I got crazy when I deal with it. I cannot handle its abstraction. It make me completely blank. My dear learner, can you tell me what this it stands for? Yes, you're right. It stands for nothing but the learning of mathematics or the mathematics. And all the previous statements exhibits mathematics phobia. The faulty treatment of the mathematics as a subject has established mathematics as a phobic subject in the school due to the assumption of it's a serious subject, a complex subject which requires high level of intelligence to excel. But before understanding mathematics phobia, let me share with you the general notion or the understanding of the term phobia. Phobia can be defined as a type of anxiety disorder characterized by persistent fear of an object or situation. It's an excessive and irrational fear reaction. Phobia causes a deep sense of dread or panic when the source of fear is encountered different people have different kind of phobias and therefore in short phobias can be defined as an internalized feeling of discomfort resulting from continuous negative experiences with a specific object or situation and piled up anxiety over a long period of time. Therefore the mathematics phobia can be defined as intensified feeling of anxiety and fear for which also interferes in the dealing with the objects and situation demanding logic, reason, precision, calculation and structure etc. My dear learner, it's not the numbers which haunt the learner only, it is everything which demands logic, reason and precision also along with the calculation which are the basic characteristics of mathematics as a subject all these things include in maths phobia now what causes maths phobia maths phobia is caused mainly due to persistent failure in mathematics which is repeated in its nature and therefore the feeling of discomfort get intensified which results in phobia 
What causes mathematics phobias? My dear learner, the flawed treatment of mathematics as a subject at school level has made it a phobic subject for the children. Maths is always treated in isolation, that is, it is made away from life. It is devoid from any real or meaningful or supporting context. Therefore, children lack in application of mathematical concept in their life, leading them to the feeling of discomfort. Maths in school always stressed on use of abstract symbol in mathematics, making it further difficult for the young learners to understand and to comprehend. The mathematics in school also stress on using paper and pencil over actions, which makes it its learning lifeless and beyond understanding. Mathematics is always taught as a set of prescribed procedures in school. That is, there is always stress on getting right response, which demands accuracy and precision and which consequently stress the learners and therefore the anxiety it causes anxiety. The ignorance of their information processing abilities also makes mathematics a phobic subject. That is, when we teach mathematics in school, we always forget about the amount a learner can process in cognitively and also the process they apply for information processing and the pace at which they process the information. The ignorance of these three things make mathematics a phobic subject, as well as we always ignore about the learning styles of different learners. Some of our learners learn while seeing the visuals. Some of our learners understand more by listening. However, some of the learners learn only when the, the learning is converted into actions. We always forget to combine the learning styles to facilitate the learning of mathematics, making mathematics fearful for the students. There are other causes also which are related with classroom and home environment. The prior negative experiences with mathematics may lead to fearful feeling or phobic feeling for mathematics in the learners. There could be prior negative experiences associated with the learning of mathematics causing mathematics into a phobia. There could be an unavoidable school climate characterized by the strict discipline, inappropriate method of teaching and treatment and no provision or of the opportunities or no space for the creativity and innovation by the children, which makes mathematics learning difficult for the children. There could be a lack of encouragement from parents and teachers, which works for piling the pressure and stress in the children, then to release it. There could be also a lack of positive role model in home and in school, and there could be a history of poor mathematics in the family. Then there are some gender or ethnic stereotypes, which is associated with mathematics learning as popularized by the teachers or the researchers, for example, it is often known or said that the children from disadvantaged groups or the girls are generally poor in mathematics, which make mathematics fearful for the girls and the children from disadvantaged group. Using mathematics to punish the students also causes hate for mathematics and phobia for mathematics. Then there could be pressure of taking timed tests which can cause phobia for mathematics. The aim of our teaching or learning of any subject is considered to perform well in the examination, which creates a pressure on the student to perform well in given duration of time. And the restriction of time, in the restriction of time, many of the students cannot perform well. The restriction of time may not suit to individual differences in mathematics learning and performance, which leads to stress and frustrate the learner to make them anxious and phobic for mathematics. Another reason for mathematics phobia can be seen in the fear of getting socially stereotyped or getting a fixed social image. Children may have the fear to get labeled if they ask or clarify their doubts in mathematics again and again. Therefore, this restrains children from clarifying doubts and it consequence to persistent confusion and piling of doubts. This consequently led to negative effect on performances with 
negative reinforcement and lack of motivation leads to anxiety, fear and then phobia. Another reason for mathematics phobia is lack of preparedness. In the arena of continuous and comprehensive assessment, every day there could be a test in the school. We frequently forget that our children are learning many subjects besides mathematics and they have limited time to distribute on the learning of different subjects. So it could be possible that sometime they are not prepared which leads to poor performance and negative reinforcement and continuous unpreparedness leads to continuous negative associations, failure and then phobia. So there are many reasons which could be clubbed under the flawed treatment of mathematics as a subject as well as the contextual specificities or the contextual factors which cause mathematic phobia. Now the question come that if we want to make mathematics a fun, what we are required to do? There are different strategies which could be used to make learning of mathematics a fun. We can give our children hands-on experiences through action and activity-oriented learning. We can also use fun games to provide them direct experiences which would help in development of perception and representations both. We can also use picture books which will help in concretizing the mathematical representation and also help in the presentation through association. We can use play games as an strategy to make learning of mathematics a fun. Mathematics can be considered as the most suitable subject which could be teach through the games. Games can promote creativity, can promote team learning and also would provide the scope for peer teaching and also provide a secured emotional environment to the children to learn mathematics. As a teacher, we should always encourage mathematical talks. We all know that children love talking. Therefore, let them talk about what they are doing. Let them talk about their action. We should model how to have meaningful conversations about mathematics. Now, to add interest and fun in the question asked is a prominent strategy to make learning of mathematics a fun. It will help in catching our learners attention and to engage them better. Implementation of engaging rules can be considered as another strategy to make learning of mathematics a fun. Giving children opportunities to learn, repeat and innovate is essential. As a teacher, you are just required to plan for it beforehand. Whenever we are teaching mathematics, one thing should be kept in mind that we should use the affiliation, children's affiliation to teach them mathematics such as their names while chalking down or framing the problems and activities. The affiliation or the use of affiliation ensures better learners engagement with the task of learning mathematics. We can also use web resources as the web is an enriched source of appealing and interesting support material which could help in learning of mathematics. The learning of mathematics could be also facilitated by bringing in the real objects into the classroom. The bringing the real objects in the classroom would help in providing direct experiences to the children which would have lasting impacts and it will make learning of mathematics meaningful and relevant. It's not essential to restrict the learning of mathematics in the four walls of classroom or to be seated on the seats by the children. The movement through activities and outings should be helpful in giving meaningful breaks while learning mathematics and it will promote the mathematical learning and will make the mathematics fun. Then we can add cheers to our activities. We can encourage learners to melt their fear and this could be done by accepting their errors by the teachers. As a teacher, we should patiently wait and facilitate till the acquisition of correct procedure and concepts are done by the children. Use of manipulatives could be considered as another strategy for making learning of mathematics a fun. Manipulative refers to blocks, cards, objects, abacus, etc. Manipulatives helps in 
concretizing the abstract representations of mathematics and making mathematics more understandable and comprehensible for the students. Then, to make learning of mathematics fun, we are required to review the progress of our students. We are required to give them opportunities to review their own progress on their own and as a teacher, our role is limited to a facilitator. We can always encourage cooperative learning to make learning of mathematics fun. As children learn together, they learn many things better. The learning together also helps in sharing their thinking load and thereby facilitates learning of mathematics and make learning a fun. We should break the limits imposed on the subject which is isolating the subjects from the other field of studies. We should integrate the mathematics as a subject with other subjects such as social sciences, science, even literature and language. It will help in breaking the glass ceilings which have been created by the teachers or the curriculum framers or the policy makers in the learning of mathematics. It is always required to involve parents to facilitate the learning of mathematics. The parents should be converted into just being a fussy stress builders to a co-partners in learning of mathematics. It is also required to celebrate the special maths events to make learning of mathematics a fun. For example, in India, we can celebrate the birthday of the Ramanujam, the great mathematician of India, as well as we can celebrate the International Mathematics Day to facilitate children's love for mathematics and love for mathematical learning. Promotion of cooperative competition can also be seen as a strategy to make learning of mathematics fun. Promotion of competitive competition refers to a situation in which effort and hard work done by each one is helpful in refining and enhancing the performance of others also. After that, we can also consider promotion of students coming out with their own problems as a strategy to make learning of mathematics fun. It will promote both designing and solution of the problems and make the learning of mathematics more authentic. We can also provide different kind of visuals to support the learning of mathematics to make it fun. We can also bring rhythm and music to make the learning of mathematics happen as Gandhiji considered the learning of mathematics through songs and poetry to the best. We are also required to differentiate in terms of content, process and product for catering to the differentiated needs of our children. It will help in facilitating their learning for mathematics. The introduction of STEM projects which are hands-on cross-curricular projects and focus on real-life problem and are collaborative in nature can also be considered as a strategy for making learning of mathematics fun. So, in today's lessons, we have discussed about the concept of mathematics phobia as intensified feeling of fear and anxiety interfering in the subsequent dealing with the object of or situation demanding logic, reasoning, involving numbers and calculation, etc. The factor causing mathematics phobia ranges from flawed treatment of the mathematics as a subject to the flawed contextual specificities which can be concentrated in the classroom or school or present at home. And the golden principle to make learning of mathematics fun are to recognize importance of contextualization, action orientation, games in mathematics class. With this, now it's time to take home task. I expect after going through this lesson, you can draw a detailed profile of the age appropriate functional abilities in mathematics of your elementary grade students and propose a functional fun strategy to improve their performance further in mathematics. With this, I'll thank you all.
just stay with learning and teaching of mathematics and make it a fun learning experience thank you very much